we're just going to get into the big one immediately since it's animation. The Super Mario Bros. movie. Yay! So, um, it was a really fun and nostalgic movie, but the plot and writing was pretty thin, and I think it could have been stronger. Mm. It definitely rides on a bunch of Easter eggs um, that, honestly, a lot of young kids, even though it's definitely aggressively a kid's movie, I feel like a lot of young kids wouldn't get a lot of the Easter eggs because they just haven't had as, oh, much, yeah. as much experience with, <laughs> with the, the franchise. Um, but uh, I, I say that uh, if it wasn't a Mario movie, then it wouldn't be that good. And I, and I think that that says something because um, obviously it is a Mario movie and you can't just like remove that. But I think that the story alone should stand as good by itself without right. the, the, the the franchise that's being plastered over it and that that just isn't the case with this movie like i said when i when i when i say it's aggressively kids movies i mean like um i feel like a lot of kids movies like you know from like pixar and uh dreamworks uh adults will enjoy the movie um because uh of the, the story and the movie will hold up very well years later because of the story. So when a kid, when kids get older, they rewatch and go, "Man, this movie's still good," because the story just hits different. But this is gonna be one of those movies that I don't feel like it's gonna age very well. Yeah, me neither. But let's let's not talk all that about this movie because in a day, it was a good movie. It was an enjoyable movie. It's not a bad movie. Let me make that clear because I realize I'm talking too much shit. It's, it's it's a good movie. It's a fun movie. I yeah. definitely recommend the movie. I just if you're expecting, you know, a really good. St- um, story that you're used to seeing in other like kids movies you're not going to get that but you are going to get a lot of serotonin from just mario and you know right. a bunch of references from mario it's a good movie it's just not a cinematic masterpiece and you know what that's okay i think <laughs> yeah it's fine i don't know i just i have this thing where i just don't like mediocrity <laughs> yeah and that's real i'd rather have something be <laughs> horrible or good if it's in the middle it makes me upset. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for Nintendo, because it's like, come on now, y'all. You're Nintendo, one of the biggest entertainment franchises on this planet. You make a mediocre movie? It's just unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're definitely just, you know, like I said, this is kids' movies. They were aiming towards kids because they knew that was the, the safest bet. And, you know, it's Mario. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's understandable why they, they did this. But, um,. I'm glad they took this route though and didn't try to make some like gritty yeah like gritty uh adult oriented Mario movie I would have I'm glad that we got what we got and not that because that could that was the alternative in my head and it probably would have been much much worse why would they do that they I don't that's not a thing that ever would interest Nintendo yeah but you never know you know how the movie industry is yeah (laughs) but it's Nintendo Nintendo 100% isn't gonna let uh a production company controlled their vision. So oh, true, true. I, th- I don't think that was ever on the table at all. Okay, good. Ninten- I don't know. It keeps me up at night thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, no, Nintendo is, um, you know, plays, pays too much close attention to their properties to let something like that happen. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we can get into a little bit of spoilers. Um, but, uh, well, actually, before we get there, um, let's talk about the voice actor. The voice acting was pretty good. Yeah. And, and yes, that includes Chris Pratt. He wasn't great, but he did do a, a pretty good job, and I grew, his, he grew on me. He grew on me pretty quickly. He's not bad. Mm-hmm. You know, do I think it should have been someone else? Yes. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it 100% should have been Chris Martinet, because it's like, he can do a not-so-aggressively Italian Mario voice. He's a voice actor, after all, and he voices, like, majority of the Mario cast in the games. He knows how to do different voices. He could have, I'm sure Chris Martinet could have come up with a voice that felt like Mario, but not as, like, aggressively Italian. Mm. Yeah, honestly. Because he did it for uh, Mario's dad, actually. Yeah. Now that I think about it. So, yeah. I, so I was right, technically, with one of my theories, even though it didn't pan out the way I wanted to. So I, so I had a theory that what you if, uh, what if um, Mario's father in this was the original Mario, Jumpman, and... Uh, he had, and his mother was Pauline and you know Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong and they fought but in this one Chris Martinet just voices both Jumpman and Mario's dad two separate characters and and Pauline is, is this in this but she's like a, a, a newscaster or something like that um, mm. so it didn't go the exact way I wanted it to but my theory was technically right 
Right. <laughs> but yeah, everybody else, all the other voice actors were really good. Um, Kevin Michael Richardson in his comic was great, which I'm always so used to him just doing deep voices for characters that hearing him do Kevin's voice is hilarious. Definitely. Yeah, the only voice actor that I didn't like was Fred Armiston as Cranky Kong. It was so weird. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't fit. I don't know. It did not fit the character. I I, I thought it was gonna be like an old man voice, but instead it was this weird like, I don't even know how to describe it. Felt very show busy to me. It was strange. I, I, I and I feel like it. Just, I feel like it wasn't even on the actor. It was more like the the, the voice director. Like what? Like you should have that man do something different. Right. I feel like he could have definitely done something to rent up the allow him to. Mm. But okay, now, now let's get into the spoilers. The place where <laughs> I feel like um they could have done better in terms of story was, um I feel like they could have really leaned into um Mario feeling like a failure to his father and that he's like dragging his brother down. They touch on it a right. little bit and then they give you a big montage of just Easter eggs and then touch on it again with him and Donkey Kong feeling the same. And then again, it's a bunch of Easter eggs. And then they touch on it again at the very end. And I'm like, I feel like every moment in this movie should have been building that up rather than, okay, story, story beat, bunch of Easter eggs, story beat, bunch of Easter eggs. I just, I feel like you're, you, they should have weaved the Easter eggs within the story rather than having them essentially happening one at a time, which is weird. Right. It's a, it's a movie. And I feel like, um, I saw this tweet. I'm not sure if I can find it fast enough, but I, let me see if I can remember what it was. It was essentially okay. this person saying something along the lines of like, you know, people are like saying like, like you shouldn't expect this to be some cinematic masterpiece. It's, it's Mario. It's a video game. It's, it's, you know, it's based off Mario, which Mario never had a big story. And, um, you know, the person says like, yeah, but this isn't a video game anymore. Now it's a movie. It should have a better story. <laughs> If there, right. were, if there was any place for you to expand on the story and write a, a, a better one, it's a movie. <laughs> yeah. So to use the excuse of, well, it's based off a video game that doesn't have a lot of story, I think it's stupid because this is the place to build that story. <laughs> and better. they did a decent job. Again, I want to say, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm talking a lot of trash, but it's all right. I definitely want to go see it again. Um, I, I want to go see it with some friends, though. It's not a movie that I mm. that I want to go see by myself a thousand times. But right. I definitely want to go see it with some friends. And the first time I wanted to go see it, I saw it with like damn near my whole family. <laughs> and that was <laughs> and that wasn't even the plan at first. I just ended up inviting my mother and my little brother and and then next thing you know, my other brothers are coming and my mother's friend and his son is coming. I'm like, okay. And now everybody's here. Like, who are you people? I went and saw it with my cousins. Uh, we have been planning this for months. And like, because <laughs> my cousins are super big into Mario, and they were like, we have to go see it. Uh, they w We were supposed to go see Sonic together. They went and saw it without me because I'm a working adult with a job. It was a little hurt. So I was like, y'all are not going to see Mario without me, period. That's just not happening. So we had to like fight in the group chat. It was this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I, went, I went to go see um, Sonic 2 with my brothers, and I was the only person, like, despite being the oldest person there, I was the one, and you know, it's probably because I was the oldest person there. I was the one kicking out the most because I have the most experience with Sonic out of all of them. <laughs> like, right. like when uh, Sonic, in one scene in Sonic Two, when um they're in that like Russian bar or whatever, um, mm. and he like does the the Sonic Adventure Two cover pose. Right. And I was and I was just pointing at the screen, going, "Oh my God, he did the thing!" And my he brothers, did the thing. and my brothers did. They had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I literally pulled up my phone, looked it up, looked it up, and showed it to him. I was like, "Look at this! He did that thing." That is so real of you. I felt like a, a, just a little kid watching Sonic X. Ah, uh, Sonic X, man! I should rewatch that sometime soon because it's on Netflix. Like that makes sense because they got that other new Sonic cartoon that's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. 